In this video, I'm going to show you a real deal of solving a 3x3 three three system of equations. Something looks like this. And I know this is going to be long, but it's okay, because we can handle it. And let me tell you guys a secret to do this kind of questions. You need to have patience and don't complain. And that's also the secret to be successful in life as well. Anyways, we will be using the elimination method right here. And the main thing I want to show you guys in this video is to show you guys how we should organize our work. So, first thing, we have to think about which of these variables to be eliminated. X or Y or Z. You should check the numbers in front of each variable. They are about the same. Therefore, let me just say I want to eliminate X. So I want to make a decision first, right? You can also do it to Y or to Z. You can try that on your own. But in this video, let's focus on getting rid of the X first. And this is what we do first. Above the X right here, let's first put down LCM. And this right here stands for the least common multiple. First, we are going to look for the least common multiple of the numbers 1, 6, and 3. And the answer for that is 6. Okay, And the idea here is that we want to make all the numbers in front of the x to be 6 by multiplying. So, let's think about this. For the first equation, we have a 1x, right? So we have to ask ourselves, 1 times what will give us 6? 1 times 6 will give us 6, isn't it? Therefore, I'm going to take the first equation and multiply everything by 6. And I'll put down the result to the right, right here. So let's see, 6 times x, that will give us 6x, and then 6 times negative 2y, that's minus 12y, 6 times positive 2z, that will give us plus 12z. And this is equal to 6 times 0, that's 0. Be sure you multiply everything inside right here with the 6, everything in that equation. Alright, next. For the second equation, we already have a 6 in front of the x, right? So we don't need to multiply by some additional number. However, earlier we got a positive 6x right here. When you want to have all the numbers in front of the x to be 6, to be the same number, you also want to make sure the signs, positive negative, the signs to be alternating. If you have a positive 6x right here, that means we should have a negative 6x right here. Okay, The sign should be alternating. So with that being said, I'm going to take the second equation, and I will multiply everything by a negative sign, which is the same as multiplying everything by negative 1. And let's see. We pretty much will have negative 6x, and let's put that down here, and negative y and negative times 3z is minus 3z. And this will be negative times 6, which will have negative 6. Be sure you take care of all the numbers. So we have the positive 6x, negative 6x. The next one right here, we should produce a positive 6x. The signs should alternate. With that being said, this is a 3 in front of the x. We have to ask ourselves, 3 times 4 will give us a positive 6. Well, the answer to that is just a positive 2. And we'll be ready. 2 times 3x, that will give us positive 6x. And we will have 2 times 3y, that's plus 6y. And 2 times 3z, that's plus 6z. And this is equal to 2 times negative 12, and that's minus 24. And we will be looking at these three equations right here. And this is how we can proceed to the next step. Alright, once we have all the numbers in front of the x to be 6, and the signs are alternating, right? Positive, negative, positive. Sometimes you can also have negative, positive, negative. That's okay too. Once we have that ready, this is what we can do. First, we are going to combine the first and second equations together. 
And we're just going to do this in our head. I'm not going to cross them out because I have to use the second equation again. So let's see. 6x minus 6x is just 0, so that's good. That's gone, right? Negative 12y minus y, that will give us negative 13y. And let me just put on the work right here. And we have plus 12z minus 3z, that will give us positive 9z. And this is equal to 0 plus negative 6, that's negative 6, like that then. So that's really nice, isn't it? And we are going to combine the second and the third equation. And I'll put it down right here. You see, negative 6x plus 6x is 0, they are gone. Negative y plus 6y, that will be positive 5y. And then right here, we have negative 3z plus 6z, that's positive 3z. And this is equal to this combined with that. We will end up with negative 30. This is why we cannot cross out anything from the second equation because I have to use this again in this process here. And now let me ask you guys, can we solve this? Sure, because now this is just a 2 by 2 system of equations and we should do this by elimination as well because that should be your go-to method, okay? So, shall we eliminate y? or z. In this case, z will be easier. Let me write down the LCM for you guys for the z. We have 9 and 3. The LCM, this common multiple of these two numbers, is just a 9. With that being said, you see that the first equation, we don't have to do anything because it does have the 9z right here. So let me just write it down. We have negative 13y plus 9z, and this is equal to negative 6. We didn't have to do anything. However, for the second equation, we have 3 right here. 3 times what will give us 9? We know 3 times 3 will give us 9. That means I have to take the second equation and multiply everything by 3. However, this is a positive 9z. I should produce a negative 9z, right? So, I shall be multiplying with a negative right here. And you see, negative 3 times 5y, that's negative 15y. And then we have negative 3 times 3z, that will give us negative 9z. And at the end, be sure you also do this. Negative 3 times negative 30, that will give us positive 90. And at this stage, we are so ready. And let me just summarize this real quick for you guys. We go from the left to the right, up to this point right here. And when you see that this and that can be eliminated, we will move down. This is just like taking a road trip from the west coast to the east coast. And then we are going to go down south. All right, so when we combine these two equations, you see that this and that will cancel. Negative 13y minus 15y is negative 28y. And negative 6 plus 90 is what? Positive 84, right? Once we get to here, we can then just divide both sides by negative 28. Cancel, cancel. y is equal to negative 3, right? This divide by that, we get negative 3. So we accomplish one variable. We know y is equal to negative 3 now. Are we done? No, because we also need the x, we also need the z. So what do we do? Just like when you take a road trip, you start from the west coast and then you move to the east and now you are in the south part, right? You have to make sure you go back, isn't it? So this is just like your flying ticket for back home. I'm going to take this and then I'm going to move back right here. Y is equal to negative 3. And now we have two choices. We can plug in y is equal to negative 3 into either this equation or this equation. And it's up to you. And let me just plug in this into the second equation. Okay, It doesn't really matter. Seriously, it's just up to you. But I will just look at the second equation. And we see that this is the original. 
use the original. That's why I didn't look at this one, because the original second equation right here, it's smaller, right? Smaller numbers. Let me write down phi, and for the y, we know it's negative 3, so I'll open the parentheses and put in negative 3. And for this, it's plus 3c, and this is equal to negative 30. And this is something that we can solve, isn't it? Let's see, this is negative 15, 5 times negative 3. Negative 15 plus 3z, and that will give us negative 30. What's next? Let's add 15 on both sides. And we see that this is positive 3z, and this is going to give us negative 15. And I can just divide both sides by 3, so that this and that will cancel, and z is equal to negative 5. And we are done for the c. Okay, y and z. We need x. Let me take a longer fly. I want to come back all the way here. And the reason is because I want to look at the original equations. And I want to just choose one of these, 1, 2, 3 right here. And I will plug in both of these values into one of these equations so that we can solve for x. I'm not going to use these equations because the numbers right here are bigger, because these are after we multiply these numbers, right? So. Let me use the first one right here. Let me write down, because I don't know what x is, so let me just first put down, x is just x. And then minus 2. And for the y, I'll open the parentheses. We know y is equal to negative 3. So I will put down negative 3 right here in that parentheses. And we have plus 2 times z value is negative 5. So we put on negative 5 here. And at the end, we know this is equal to 0. So right here, we can just solve for x, and then that will be it. So you see, this is x. Negative 2 times negative 3, that will give us plus 6. And 2 times negative 5, that's minus 10. And this is equal to 0. And we see that plus 6 minus 10, that will give us x right here. And this is negative 4, and this is equal to 0. Of course, I can just add 4 on both sides. Cancel, cancel, and we see x is equal to positive 4. And we are all done. From the west coast, just like in LA, and then we take a trip to the east coast, just like New York, and then we go down south to Miami, and this is like Texas. And from Texas, we skip Arizona, and we move back, right? <laughs> and what do we do? After we finish the road trip, we take a picture. And then we upload a picture onto Facebook, right? And that's the idea right here. We are going to write down the answer somewhere. And let me just do it here. And we are going to write down the answer in the form of x, y, z, in the order they triple. x is 4, comma, y is negative 3, and z is equal to negative 5. And this is how you can present your answer. Just like how you finish a road trip, you take a picture and you update that onto your Facebook to show off. Okay. That's it.